Businesses use linear regression to understand advertising spending and revenue. Medical researchers use it to tell the relationship between dosage and blood pressure. Farmers can determine the impact of fertilizer and water on crops. So how does linear regression work in machine learning? We will be discussing that in today's video. Let us get started. Artificial intelligence is the driving force behind industry today. Data scientists measure the effect of different training regimes on players, and HR experts eliminate CVs on the back of an algorithm. Moreover, machine learning is the starting point for most people in AI. So how does linear regression actually work? The linear regression model is famous in machine learning due to its simplicity. Yet, it could be a headache if you do not have a statistics background. However, we are here to help you out. If you do not have a machine learning background, you just watch and learn and do not try anything just yet. Linear regression teaches the machine more than it has learned. It also expects it to use its knowledge to disagree with specific inputs. If a dog is all it knows and you introduce a cat, it should disagree with you on it being a dog. We will present more on this theory shortly. Linear regression machine learning is an algorithm that allows for numerically mapping inputs to outputs and fitting a line into the data points. Hence, linear regression is the way of modeling the relationship between one or more variables. You may already know that the Python programming language is very popular for machine learning, and there are numerous libraries available to help to simplify the process. In brief, you can use linear regression in Python in many ways. Famous libraries to check out are the Stats Models and Scikit-Learn Libraries. Links to both are in the description. These make it easier for historical data to predict output variables. Linear regression in Python deserves its own video for the bulk of data involved, but this is a way to introduce it to you. In machine learning, this is a generalization of data points, where a model can predict outputs for inputs never seen before. Generalization is essential because you do not have to continue teaching the machine forever. The concept of machine learning is to have a teaching process where the model can act independently after a while. The things it has learned should not be the limit to the things it knows and can predict. For instance, if a child has only seen a dog its whole life and then sees a cat, it should be able to tell you that what it sees is not a dog. That is not something the child learns. It is a generalization of the child's knowledge. Similarly, the machine should identify things it has not learned as different from what it knows. In machine learning, there is a cost of errors and a process to eliminate inconsistent data. There is also a loophole where things do not fall in a straight line but are still considered linear. We will tell you more shortly. Another example to help you understand linear regression in machine learning is the stock market. Before we get to that, we encourage you to subscribe to this channel for more future tech videos. Now, suppose you see a company you want to invest in but do not know what the future holds. How do you predict it? By looking at the past performance and deducing how drastic or otherwise a fall or rise would be. That is using the generalization model to predict the Y value for an X value that is not in your knowledge. However, that is a prediction with a broader net, so linear regression would assist you in finding the line that best fits the data points on the plot and determine where the stock prices would fall or rise. Ultimately, linear regression relies on lowering the cost to maximize performance. There is a lot of math in there, but this is an oversimplified example nonetheless. We do not want to force you to bring out your calculators. What is the cost? The cost is the loss or errors the model yields from its training data. We use the learning algorithm to find the weights that minimize the cost. Sometimes, the training dataset includes massive data points with inconsistent values. I believe it was George E. P. Box who said in his 1987 book on statistics and model building that all models are wrong, but some are useful. Thus, we apply a process called discretization. That means converting the Y values in the data set from continuous to discrete, resulting in concise, usable, and clean data values. Unfortunately, this leads to some data loss. Further, some bad linear regression model performances require higher polynomial functions which brings flexibility and allows the line to fall on each other. Apparently, linear regression does not always refer to a straight line in machine learning, and there are chances that a line would fall on another, unlike in mathematics. Do you think that defeats the name? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. To recap, linear regression is the process of finding a line that fits the data points available on the plots. Those fits help us predict outputs for the inputs in our training set. The performance could depend on the consistency and cleanliness of the data. If you want to improve performance, then apply generalization. Still on how AI is making the world better? Here's a video on how rehabilitation robotics is improving cognitive function. 